So since tonight is about helping people out, I wanted to know what the best piece of advice you've been given is that you employ in your life. If, you, if you're able to do things in moderation, I think that's the way to go. If you're having a problem with something, you should seek help for it. I think that really the best piece of advice I could give uh, is always to just stay in the now. What, when you're here, this is what's real, this is what's happening. And anything else, it's not real. Okay? And if you stay in the now, I think you're a lot happier person. And people connect with you also because you're with them, like I'm with you. <laughs> The best piece of advice I've ever been given in my life, Jamie? Wow. Okay, let's see. Woo, that's that's daunting, isn't it? Yeah, I know, that's daunting. One day at a time. Yeah, well, one day at a time. Yeah, one day at a time. And as far as sobriety is concerned, it's one day at a time. Anything else is very daunting to us that are that are, are in recovery and those of us that are contemplating recovery. But it really is just 24 hours at a time. That's the world's record. Yes. <laughs> Well, I think it would be, um, you know, transparency, because honesty is not always the easy way through, but, um, you know, sometimes it's tough love, but um, I think survival is also about honesty, it's also about humor, and friendship, and love, and sport, catching your friends when they fall and being reliable and trustworthy. A couple of little things like that. Yeah. <laughs> Just little things like that. <laughs> well, mine, mine would be, my advice would be that ego is a prison. And the more you can get away with stepping outside your ego and leaving it behind, the better you, can, you will be. My, my dad told me to... Uh, Grow a mustache as soon as I could make my nose look smaller. That was sorry. about it. That was about it between me and him. Right. And I didn't do it. I can't but use that. Jer but though. Jerry did, yeah. which is pretty he good advice. The best piece of advice you've ever been given. Ah, uh, boy, best piece of advice I've ever been given. I like. I like. Uh, I. I actually took. Sean's dad's advice. I just, yeah, I just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Girl yeah. mustache, it makes yeah, your you nose go. look smaller. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Oh, mine, I don't know. I just, just, I don't know, just probably just general stuff, like being yourself, listening to a lot of different kinds of music, you know, so that you can be more, uh, so you can, so you can better figure out who you are, you know? But anyway, we gotta go. Okay, thanks. Don't get into the music business. <laughs> no. Um, you know, the best piece of advice that was ever given to me is don't worry about the end result. If you feel it in your heart, do it, and you will be okay. And I've lived like that, and it's served me right. And what music do you listen to when you need something comforting or uplifting? I've been in, in the music business so long that it could be uh, the Revolver album by the Beatles, it could be John Coltrane, Miles Davis, um, it, it, John Mayer, anything, you know, it, it just, Great. depending on what mood I want to get in. It could even be Elvis Presley. <laughs> I love Elvis. <laughs> oh, I have to tell you, okay, not that I'm a kid anymore, right, oh, but, it, but I still love disco, so, you know, dancing, I used to love dancing in disco, mm -hmm. and Adam always used to interject some of that stuff into his, his sets, so, yeah, it's great. great. Um, I'll tell you what I what I love to listen is I love to listen to things like Darius Mio, who who was the composer in residence at Mills College for women, and composed these beautiful octets for strings and woodwinds. And I love that that that's restful for me. And I love bluegrass. Oh, yeah, I'm an Alison Krauss freak. I, oh, great. Yeah, yeah, and they I met them, and uh, they're they're wonderful folks. They know of my band, and so I was very flattered that they did. Definitely. Great. Yeah. Well, various things, um, but recently I've been c uh, comforted by a lot of vinyl records that I'm spinning on a new turntable oh. <laughs> with really good speakers, and so I've been going back for comfort zones, previous comfort zones, like, you know, Joni Mitchell and, you know, so, and some early, like, uh, CSNY and, you know, Neil Young and 
and Elton John and I, I am not giving you very short answers, I guess. <laughs> Alabama Shakes. <laughs> Alabama oh, Shakes. They, oh my God. They come for me. Yeah. <laughs> Big sigh of relief to hear them. Yeah. Very excited to be in the memory of Crystal Clear. Believe it or not, the Sex Pistols are comforting and positive to me. They, they, that one album will always remind me that anyone can do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, it's very comforting to listen to that album. Either that or Massive Attack if I'm feeling really like chill. Yeah. <laughs> Massive Attack can definitely put me in a right place. Awesome. And Nine Inch Nails if I'm having sex. Oh, yes. That's my band. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> See? How did I know that? <laughs> All right. Yeah,